Hello, fam. Another video to put out. Yes, we're back in our office, sitting here, trying to figure out which story we're going to partake of next. And, of course, you know I love the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And the ladies just give me so much to talk about. So I have to keep talking about them. Y'all like listening to it. Y'all like interacting with me regarding them. So let's continue to do this thing. Now we're going to be talking about Candy Burris tonight. Yes, Lord. And the comings and goings between her, Todd, their family, and how all of it's going to fare. Now, of course, I would think some of this in my own perspective. And I'm going to shout Candy out for being a good businesswoman when it comes to what actually brings her money to her front door. And that's drama. She know what kind of show she was getting into. She knew what the producers and the executive producers were expecting uh, to happen on the show. These ladies know prior to signing their contract, selling their souls, and moving forward with all the foolery, fuckery, fake, fraudulent, shitty activity of behavior that they have to give out for this show and for them to definitely uh produce lucrative deals and and money from them acting an ass so let's talk about it let's talk about this situation that candy birds fully well known has gotten herself into okay it seems like it's a struggle between a marriage a friendship and the love of a mother yes lord the three you don't want to entertain in the same breath, okay? Meaning you, your ties to your mother, your biological family, and then your ties to your husband and the family that you make with that husband. The two don't never need to clash. The two don't need to know what the right hand and the left hand doing for each other entity. And I'm living that from experience, trying to put some edification to Candy Burris if she's willing to hear. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. We already know she sold her soul. We already know for that pot of gold. Okay. Now it's a family affair. <laughs> no pun intended. But yes, my YouTube family is going to get in. They're going to weigh in at the end of my commentary for this video. But we already know it's a family mess. It's a family mess. And Candy has definitely said. She had to take care of a lot of people. Now, she put this own burden on her, so she's going to have to figure out how to get and uh, unburden herself with some of the things that she calls herself as taking care of her family. Now, most men, when they get married, they still recognize their biological um, first family in a sense they were raised with their siblings and all that. And they try to be the peacemaker. They try to be the backbone of said family and when they venture out try to go get married get married and they have an extended family but now is their dominant family and so you know a good man a godly man they handle it without distress you see what i'm saying because they lean on to the understanding of the heavenly father and the father guides that particular man you see what i'm saying okay and doing the righteous and upright thing even though we all know it's biblical once you marry you leave your mother and father and you go on about your marriage way and try to be the best husband and provider you can but we as human beings we don't want to forget about our mother and our dad because I use the reference father for the father of a bus. I don't try to use that as a tonation to describe my earthly father. But you basically supposed to leave your mother and father and cleave to your wife and y'all become one. But in essence, we know our heart is fleeting and we got to have our love. Because it also states that you should honor your mother and your father. Now, I take it to a point of reference to your whole lifetime, not just you a child and you're supposed to lean on your uh, mother and dad's understanding to lead you right and not wrong. Okay, lead you down that narrow path, not that crooked and straight, I mean, not that crooked and wide lane, just the narrow and straight path. But, you know, a lot of people can interpret it different ways or, or whatnot. But see, Mama Joyce had already groomed her daughter Candy for many 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 different things in the industry whichever popped off first that's pretty much what uh and how mama joyce saw her bag through candy now we know for a fact at least hell i know if them two women meaning sharon um todd's mother on the right would have still been living girl 
I believe personally, Candy and Todd would not have been still married to one another because both women, meaning Mama Sharon as well as Mama Joyce, they used to get into it like it was nobody's business. And you did see Todd try to handle it between both mothers. You did try to see Candy try to handle it between both mothers. But it was futile. Okay? Very futile. Because you, sometimes you just can't change older seasoned women. Minds, they ain't going to do it. They're going to like what they like. They're going to hate what they hate. And that's just going to be it. And at the point of reference, they didn't like each other. <laughs> Before Mama Sharon took her last breath. Okay? They dealt with each other because they had to because of the children. But they didn't care for each other. All right? They had their fixation, fixation on how they wanted to see Ken and Todd live their life. They both were different opinionated women. And, of course, Mama Joyce will always see Todd as an opportunity. He ain't going to get better. He ain't going to do better. Anything he do can help him get it. He didn't get it on his own. Then, of course, Mama Joyce is always going to bring Frazier Pauls for basically introducing them and getting them together. And we saw that play out on one of the episodes of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, how Mama Joyce went to Phaedra Parks' uh, business of employment and kind of read her and got her together for setting her daughter up with such a man, okay, of lower standards, of lower taste, of lower uh, professionalism. But my thing with Mama Joyce is she always want, as we all do want for our children, the best possible mate, okay? Now, was Todd the ideal type of person? Probably not because I guess she wanted Canada to marry a doctor, lawyer, some type of entertainment person, producer that was really way up there like a Tyler Perry or a Spike Lee, something to that cali caliber. But Candy wasn't attracting those type of men. I don't know if she wasn't going into where they congregated together or she wasn't hanging out with certain elite folks to, you know, get with men of that type of stuff. Uh, structure or status I don't know maybe they just weren't appealing uh, to Candy or to the men that just didn't choose her for whatever reason I don't know you know we can go in and out out and in try to get to the meat and potatoes but the thing is Candy chose Todd Todd chose Candy okay how that happened, how it got together, it really doesn't matter because both of them could have said, no, we're just going to date each other. We're going to be like a Stedman and Oprah Winfrey type couple. We're never going to marry, but we're going to congregate together. They could have did it like that, but they didn't. Can't even told Todd, unless you sign this prenup, we ain't getting married. I'll cry my eyes out. I'll probably have a headache. I'll probably waste money in getting this wedding together. It's never going to happen. But I would dry my tears. Da 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 da. You don't sign this prenup, man, please. We ain't having no wedding. That's just pr pretty much it. I don't, I don't been that way. Well, man, don't use me this, that, and third. And it's not going to happen no more. I love you. I truly do. And it's not in name only. But, you know, I got to protect my assets. <laughs> and that's pretty much how she kind of looked at this agreement because i mean she was very steadfast she wasn't getting no uh getting married until he signed that contract so she even said so herself that it was li looking kind of glim it was looking kind of bleak but clear heads prevailed meaning todd just came to the assumption or the realization that ken is not gonna you know budge i'm our gone and into this marriage hopefully it'll be what i wanted it to be but as we saw on past clips the recent past clips he's not happy he's not happy with his status in life he's not happy how candy family is treating him more namely mama joyce and not trusting him and this that, that and like i said mamas do have intuition and i'm not saying mama joyce is coming from a bad place i'm just saying candy put her mother in a bad place when she wanted to get on reality tv she knew what it takes to make money in this arena and she has to come with some drama filled stories that people want to partake of I'm not saying they want to see you messed up and enthralled and a lot of you know unhappiness whatever but i mean you signed up for it this is what you get you get the on the other end you get a whole hell of a truckload of money on the opposite end, you get a whole lot of pain and not understanding from people critiquing and judging you all the same. But again, Candy knew what she was walking into. Uh, everybody's going to have their mixed emotions and their feelings and per their perspectives on whatever Candy do. Because she's always out there putting shit in social media for us to partake of. And we as common decent folks, and some of us just like myself knows as hell, you will build a platform to talk about certain uh 
not so ideal thoughts brought into fruition and um you know some people get on you about you know not spreading rumors because here yeah, they put the rumors out there i'm just you know putting my spin on it and trying to find some clarification and talking with my family about the situation okay not that we're saying she's right she's wrong it's just what we feel and we wouldn't really have a feeling on it if we didn't know about it again hence you put shit out there in social media we're gonna come out there meaning some of us are going to make you know an opinion on it and that's all it is strictly opinions but let's get on into this article that uh celebrity insider brought out by the way of ron collins he's a journalist commentary uh columnist person over there writing out salacious scandalous salacious stories on these entertainers in this celebrity world reality camp of entertainment i should say he goes on entitled his article, Candy Burris, posts her speak on it episode about Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 finale. And you know, I have did a few um, commentary type articles or uh, narration on what I was viewing Candy speak on it type of format of her YouTube channel. I, I got bored with it. You know what I'm saying? I really got bored with it because I'm like... She's never going to call Todd out to a certain degree, and then she's going to backtrack it all instead of staying in her shit and let it be what it is. Todd know he uh, got involved with a woman who's very strong-minded, go out there and get the money however she feels she needs to get it for herself and her, her family, and she has no, uh, what do you call it? She has no, <sighs> I'm lack of a better word. She doesn't care how she gets it, who it hurts, how it hurts. She just wants it, okay? She don't care who she has to step over to get it. And that's a bad way of doing it. But people in the entertainment field, they do it all day and don't even think about it. it it's just like an afterthought to them. When you play in this field, some people going to lose, some people going to win. She just happened to be on the winning side at this time. But it seems like, to me, her marriage is going to suffer. But... Candy just strikes me as a particular person that actually is going to choose money and family over anything else as far as a marriage or a relationship with a man because she's too much wrapped up into what her mama's talking about and she hadn't seemed to learn how to separate her mother's yapping and her husband's yapping and what truly makes sense of what either or is talking about. You know, you could decipher what's pure bullshit and just animosity and what's true and, and and tested and tried that this person is actually telling the truth whether it's your mother or whether it's your uh, husband can you haven't come to that realization you want both worlds to coexist and they're not they're going to always be friction there because your mother feels you're at the highest point and peak of your career and you don't settle for something lesser than and she's going to always see it that way and then it just plays a part to what happened in mama joy's life to where she I don't know, hates the demeanor or behavior or characteristics of Todd because is, is it hitting hard to some similarities being her ex, meaning Candace's dad, is kind of like Todd and she's not liking it because uh, she's never remarried. I'm like, what was the big deal? You know, what's going on in that arena, Mama Joyce? Uh, are you pairing all your bad luck and bad history with men and you're trying to save Candy from all those pitfalls and she should think smarter and not harder when it's trying to keep her marriage working and it becoming a working uh, vessel in a sense, I should say, that she should help her daughter uh we call it cultivate into something beautiful even though her relationship with men didn't do so well i don't know i just seems it seems like it's just one side it's like mama joy's been hurt by men so she don't want candy to truly uh cultivate her marriage and, and let it grow and she gives her better insight and in how to stay away from the pitfalls that married couples tend to get into when they're thinking about themselves sometimes like she should be more proactive with their marriage instead of reactive but you know that's another whole story i don't know what happened in mama joy's life they get that's giving her this negative uh strong opinionated voice on todd like todd can't do better he ain't gonna do better. you know that kind of 
thing instead of trying to see where she can take toy you know and understand some certain things especially when he don't have his mom in his life when he really needs his mom and like i said where the, where the hell is his dad is he dead or something does he not have an uncle and i keep asking my family but y'all ain't trying to help me find out fam not that it's really interesting to well it is interesting to know that nobody has come to todd's defense on his side of the family like a cousin uncle aunt somebody you know what i'm saying so uh i just don't know i don't know you know i hate to put Todd out to pasture because Todd is kind of growing on me but like i said when you put in that difficult situation and you really didn't figure it out at the first or second year of your marriage it's pretty much going to be detrimental and it's going to go downhill and it's going to be shitsville because personally i really think todd has had enough He's into it for whatever the prenup was set up for. He's going to pass that point of reference. And when he do, he's going to say adios. You know what I'm saying? He's going to take his money or whatever he felt he earned in the relationship. And he's going to walk straight out the box from Candy Burris. You know, and I'm sure Candy's going to survive or whatever. But it's going to be um, detrimental to her and her spirit. She might end up like Mama Joyce trying to give Ryder some bad advice. Trying to give Blaze some bad advice. Here she might be... Uh, giving baby uh a some bad advice when he try to bring a woman that he feels he he loves and respects and he wants to marry you know the candy might turn to her mama mama joyce all over again but that's just another thing let's get on into this article that ron collins brought brought out he said candy burris uploaded a much awaited video on her youtube channel and her fans are in awe she posted the new speak on it episode about the real housewives of atlanta season 12 finale and you can also check it out below my speak on it about the finale is up on my youtube now we did a little something different with this week's speak on it i gave you a lot of my footage from my baby shower where a lot of my friends family spoke on our pink carpet i also gave my view on the episode check it out on my youtube page candy online candy told her instagram fans okay and then a follower had an observation to make about mama joyce and her relationship or relations with todd tucker candy we the people need you to start standing up for your husband todd we're all tired of your mama treating him less than he's a great husband and after six years of marriage and two beautiful kids she should respect then she should women she should respect then man by now old school or not respect goes both ways i love you and todd relationship and you will let the enemies win if you get a divorce so please todd and candy love on each other now i think i'm gonna say to that comment oh child you don't have all the pieces of the puzzle now do we <laughs> to make a blanket statement like that you asking this woman to um uh, put her mother out to pasture and take up with her husband and like i said from the intro we know about what the biblical way of saying things and this that and the third but candy is not that type she's not going to give up on her mother so all that is falling on feudal ears okay and you're right when you, that commenter made uh the comment both people deserve respect the mother do and the, and the husband do however if we go back we go way on back when mama sharon was still living did we not see how todd let mama sharon get into mama joyce's ass yes yes we did same thing mama joyce got into todd's ass and sharon had something to say about it as well so they was just going back and forth it was not a peaceful situation for neither one of the couples okay but it would have been better for both of them to go into the sunset and have them two mamas argue that would have been a better situation but like i said todd was going fiercely hard for his mom and her actions and her demeanor just like candy has been and still is going for her mother as well but Todd feels like, you know, it's always one-sided. But I'm like, Todd, if you're disrespecting her mama, what do you think a woman is going to do that love her mama and know her mama had put forth a great effort to for her to be in the limelight that she's in now and afforded her so many opportunities to uh, put her on a platform when she started with the girl group uh, Escape. And they did, you know, some you know good things with being in the industry in the music industry field so again candy was well known uh because of her group uh affiliation and what they did as artists uh being in a collab type of uh girl group then what we can say about you todd okay bring your resume we're ready to pick it apart and see what you really have 
uh to place at the table as worthy but that's just my sidebar going back to the article it says another follower said thanks candy for sharing your life with us you are expiring kind and entertaining for that you are genu genuinely appreciated may god continue to bless you until time uh bless you until time indefinite and an emoji heart then says check out the actual video that candy uploaded on youtube here on YouTube, people seem to have the same issue with Todd and Mama Joyce. Someone told Candy, your mama was selfish. She could have had, wait a minute, she could have and should have set herself aside to be by your side. It wasn't about her. Someone told Candy, your mama, okay, uh, another person on YouTube said, exactly, like Candy. I'm not trying to be rude, but when you do hold your mother accountable, Okay, no, they're saying, but when do you hold your mama accountable for her actions? I feel that's not fair to your husband. Uh, I mean, I totally agree why he didn't want to speak. Because honestly, Candy, you know, if he spoke, she probably wouldn't even speak to him. Plus, I don't think he wanted to be rude. He just wanted, he just wasn't in the mood for the bullshit. You know, Todd is not a disrespectful type of guy. So, you know, he had to have a lot on his mind. Come on. He can't have a bad day, but he has to put his feelings aside, and Mama Joyce doesn't. No, in that whole situation, I had to disagree to agree to a certain degree, if that makes sense. What I'm trying to say uh, is basically, Todd knew exactly what Mama Joyce was about prior to his mama even dying. He knew that. He could have got out of marriage right then, there, and, and called it a, a peace treaty. You, you know, your family win. I can't stand up to them. I will never be uh, who they want me to be. And, you know, I have a problem with society judging me too. So, to me, that seems like half of a man. Because a man ain't going to give up that easy. Especially when he knew for, had forethought of what your life was already about when he uh, came to be about your mom and your uh, extended family, Candy. So my deal with this, respect is earned, okay? Definitely earned. And maybe you have to get both of them uh, straightened out or uh, get them tightened up, tightened up ship. If you have to get them tightened up ship separately, you know what I'm saying? It should be a question or a conversation you've had with Todd saying, look, you know, if we bring in drama, then my family going to know about we bring in drama only for the ratings and we all getting paid. That's one thing. But if it's a situation where you bring in drama just to bring drama and make me look bad on TV, then I'm going to have to get up in your ass. Okay, so you better tread lightly. You better know what you need to say and, and inform it to a way where it's going to give me some lead way to cut your ass out if you want to come like that. Same thing, she should have the same conversation with her mom. You gonna come for my husband? You better make sure you got all your ducks in a row, okay? Because I might have to embarrass you on some issues too, okay, mama? I love you, but you know if you if you're doing it for drama and you want to get paid, that's one thing. Let me know, cause then I have to turn off from what I truly feel and let this stuff just play out on the screen, and we all laughing at everybody cause we getting paid going to the bank and no feelings of being hurt. Now, if it's not that type of situation and what we're seeing is in reality, reality time, and this is really what's going on then hey you gotta tell your mama don't you don't, don't you don't you do it mama okay i will cut off all your finances i will you know i would do the very least i, I would put you back in that old house you had because yes i still have it i'll put you back in that house uh i would strip you down only to the best essentials don't go for my husband you know i love that man like a dirty pair of drawers i you know whatever you know don't go for him mom he's off limits don't come for him or it won't be none. Don't start, it won't be none. Okay, mama? And that's how she should have had shit. Straighten out right then and there. So she know when they both hit the scene together, when they have to tape or they have to be shown, then ain't nobody better say nothing or somebody going to get it. You know, that's, that's how I would have played it. You know, that's how I would have played it. But anyway, because I, I played that shit anyway. And with my boyfriends and with uh, my ex-husband. <sighs> but, you know. It just is what it is. You got to have a strong backbone. You got to let both parties know how far you're going to go with them, how far they can go with you. And like I said, you don't have to chastise a person in front of everybody. You can do it respectfully behind closed doors. They just know where the limits are. Don't cross them barriers or it's going to be some shit, okay? And ain't nobody going to like it, but you be done talk to these people separately so they'll know. Don't start now, won't be none. Talk, don't, 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 don't do it. My mom, my mom, don't, don't, don't do it. You know, if y'all do it, I'm coming for both of y'all a lot lower and i'm ready to spray y'all and that's how it should be and ain't gonna be no hurt feelings because you knew it from up front okay so tread at your own 
risk of getting exposure for the negative. And that's what I would tell my mama and my husband. Okay, that's just how it would have been. But moving back to the article, it said, um, plus I don't think that he wanted to be rude. He just wanted, he just wasn't in the mood. You know, Todd is not, okay, now, now going back with that mess, Todd is very damn disrespectful, okay? Because it wouldn't, like I said, it wouldn't have took nothing. No slack off his back, nothing. Because he's still getting paid, he's still eating good, he's still looking good, he's still dressing good, he's still living good, okay? It wouldn't have took but five seconds to go over there, give a fake hug, give a fake kiki, laugh, huh? You know what? Better yet, why didn't Candy take her to Red Lobster or to another restaurant? Do everything have to be taped in the old lady game? Do everything have to be taped to the old lady guy and you know what that was totally disrespectful for candy to sit up there and let her husband name something after her aunts and her mother's talking about some old lady gang restaurant uh uh-uh, uh it would have been like the southern the best southern cuisine in georgia or a, a georgia salacious type of eatery southern cooking from you know seasoned women something to that effect you know what i'm saying she named it the old lady gang so i was too through to be tired already that was a blatant disrespect right there but she went on and did that trying to make Todd happy he was just to me slick shade in their asses because he don't care he don't care if it defaults or whatever he's still gonna get his money out of it but anyway that's just my point intended going back to the article it says uh, someone else wrote, Candy, you have to start standing up for Todd. No, she don't. Todd need to know his place, his barriers, and keep it moving. Okay, that's all he had to do. Going back to the article, it says he doesn't want to say anything because they are already on shaky ground, and it's your mom. And he doesn't want to disrespect you by disrespecting your dis- disrespecting her. Moms can be toxic. Joyce is toxic to your marriage. No, Joyce is just taking up with her daughter and she's trying to secure her future to why she's still living on this earth, okay? That's all. And if Mama Sharon was in the picture, she'd be doing the same thing. And even Candy photo albums. Like, Mama Joyce ain't smiling now. One day I'm tired. And Candy even spoke on that. Mama, I don't even like showing my pictures because you ain't smiling. <laughs> I'd say it was a gloomy day when you had to uh, have your wedding and you said I do to that man. It was a gloomy day for Mama Joyce. She probably had two bottles of champagne on her own, okay? She probably drunk up uh, both bottles by herself and cry herself to sleep but it just is what it is okay you still keep taking care of your mom that's what you're supposed to do and and, and, and keep it moving candy but um mama joyce is not toxic no it's just a, a, a mother daughter's love and candy definitely should set barriers with her and make it not be a toxic situation for her family she plans on still staying with todd because all that can feed into the grandchildren and the grandchildren be, will definitely be harmed from this uh this union or this this loyalty that both todd and mama joyce have for each other so they they really need to be on point and and suck it up you know what i'm saying like i don't like you mama joyce but you know what i love my family and i love your daughter but i'm gonna treat you right okay but in my spare time on my end time in between time i don't want to see you i don't want to hear from you it's just see what it is and mama joyce can say the same thing they can both go back to their corners okay uh but anyway uh Going back to the article, it says, you have to stand up for Todd before you are back single and Todd has custody of the kids. What are your thoughts on Candace's latest speak on it episode? I don't know, but I know that uh, commenter was wrong. Candace ain't did nothing to uh, have no uh, CPS come out to at her door, you know, saying she can be, uh, she, you know, she's facing some type of, ah, Elijah. Um, she's facing some type of situation where it warrants, uh, the knowledge or it needs to be shown to courts to say she's an unfit mother. Can't they do anything like that? Okay, on the, that porno or whatever little dungeon sex thing she's doing, that, that could be questionable. But he was right there with it when she was making that money, too. So it looks make him look bad as well. But, nah, kids, you know, I mean, he could play the trip that she gone all the time and this, that, and third just to get alimony or child support. Um, maybe that may be the situation of that commenter's thoughts. But Todd don't want them children, honey. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's slowing him up. He wants free time. He want to be able to come and go how he chooses. And he got the party. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like he left Candy in the house with Ace when he was young. Just fresh out the wound, same thing he did with Baby Blaze. He had to go to the streets. He had to get in them clubs, you know, and shake it like it ain't nobody's, you know, business. He had to make it rain on some ladies, you know. Child, I tell you. Woo. 
the bell tolls for candy birds and all the burdens that she wanted when she wanted this fame and fortune honey that's all i got to say it ain't a pot of gold when you have to deal with the rep repercussions of getting that pot of gold. Now, is it candy? Okay, but it's your life. You got to figure it all out, my dear. But I'm saying don't disrespect your mom. Don't disrespect your husband. Y'all got to find some type of plateau. Uh, like I said, if you have to get them together separately, they both know where they need not go when it comes to either or. Okay, they need not go. Or you're going to be embarrassing the, the they the both out of them. Okay, the hell out of both of them. You're going to be embarrassing them. Okay, and then they knew it. And your family members knew it. And it just is what it is. Okay, I'll be trying to live my best life. Taking care of my mama, making sure she good. Taking care of my husband, making sure he good. And I don't want to hear shit from neither one, especially if it's petty shit. But that's all I had uh, for this particular video. Y'all get down there and tell me what y'all think, honey. Is Candy living a life that's going to come shortly up in a divorce because she's not taking care of her husband, right? Or is she going to give up her mom and, and all those affections because uh, she... She has to side with her husband. Child, I don't know, honey. I don't know what's the best deal for Candy. But she, uh, it seems like the only driving force Candy has is that money. Okay? That's going to separate her from her mother and her husband. But, you know, that's my commentary. That's my narration of this particular piece I put out for us to partake of, family. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all felt about situation going on. The OLG. Ooh, that was a hot mess when he did that. And Mama Joyce, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting in your ass. Yes, she did say that. <laughs> And I was here for it, Kaka. Tom said, what, what you think I want? What do you think I want then? Mama Joyce was like, look, look at all you. You've come up, baby. You've come up. And I have to say, yes, if I go back and look at how he treats his oldest daughter, child, please, I'll be looking like Mama Joyce too. Like, mm -mm, you ain't finna handle Ace, Riley, or Blaze that way, baby. Mm -mm, not my grandchildren. <laughs> But it is what it is, y'all. I will see y'all next video. Y'all be blessed. And we will do this again. All right.